Any woman who starts flying lessons with a newborn son is not afraid of challenges. Cecile Hanfield is such a woman. Cecile started flying in 1962, just two months after the birth of her son. Cecile would pack her young son Andy and her two-year-old daughter Lori off to the airport whenever she took her lessons. But flying for Cecile wasn't easy. When Cecile drove to the Apalaka Airport for her first lesson, she was terrified and turned around three times to go home. But Cecile was a determined person, and that determination was a very good thing because not only did Cecile have to conquer her fear of flying, she soon discovered that she had vertigo and needed to build up a tolerance to heights and bumpy air so she could stop getting sick after every flight. In spite of these roadblocks, Cecile enjoyed flying immensely, and within a year, had her private license and then quickly earned her ground school instructor certificate. Cecile loves to share her adventures as part of the 99s and the Florida Women's Pilot Association that sponsored an annual intercontinental air race called the Angel Derby. 100 planes flown by women across Canada, the United States, and Mexico. The race went a long way as promoting women as competent and safe pilots, and the women also served as unofficial goodwill ambassadors. Before each flight, the women would stop and pick up letters of friendship from the White House. During these years, Cecile got to meet Vice President Spiro Agnew and Hubert Humphrey. Humphrey even asked Cecile to be his personal pilot. The Angel Derby races ended a few years ago, but not before women like Cecile Hatfield chalked up more than 50 years of showing America that women could be pilots and have fun at it too. And in those days, Cecile was having a lot of fun. She worked as a fashion model for an Italian designer. She did television commercials for the Arthur Godfrey and Gary Moore shows. Appeared as Miss Zigfield in the Zigfield Follies starred in a movie with Frank Sinatra, and even took time to earn a real estate license. In 1975, Cecile received a Juris Doctorate from the University of Miami School of Law, graduating with honors. With her law degree in hand, Cecile broke new ground for women in aviation law. She became the first woman to serve as an Associate General Counsel for the Piper Aircraft Corporation and the first woman to chair the Aviation and Space Law Committee of the American Bar Association Section of Torts and Insurance Practice. Cecile served nine years as a trial lawyer with the Department of Justice. She was the lead counsel responsible for trial practices involving complex air carrier, military, and general aviation. She supervised local counsel and client agency attorneys for the Federal Aviation Administration and numerous other federal agencies. And after leaving federal service, Cecile served as a trial attorney for the firm of McDonald & McDonald. Yet still she was determined to do more. In 1991, Cecile successfully opened her own law firm in Miami yet still found time to lecture and write articles on aviation litigation for the American Bar Association, the Lawyer Pilots Bar Association, Henry Riddle Aeronautical University, the Lloyds of London Press Aviation Symposium, and she even organized an aviation law symposium in Brussels, attended by 34 countries. Cecile Hatfield, a role model throughout her life, a woman who loves aviation, who seeks to enhance the lives of those around her. Her life story is the embodiment of her motto, Go For It. She says there is nothing to hold you back if you have faith in yourself, determination, and a little discipline.